Sprayer calibration is an important part of preparing for making spring applications. We want to make sure that every single one of our nozzles is putting out the same amount of chemical across that entire boom. My name is Tyler Steinkamp and I'm an agronomist for Winfield United. Today we're going to focus on how to calibrate each individual nozzle to make sure that all of your nozzles are putting them out the exact same amount of chemical. We're also going to look at what happens to a nozzle when it becomes damaged and how it can affect your spray pattern. The first thing we have to know about a nozzle when you are calibrating the nozzle is what size of nozzle you have. All of this information is directly on the nozzle. It'll show you the type of nozzle that you have, your degree of fan, and the gallons per minute that comes out of that nozzle tip. Now that doesn't correlate directly to your gallons per acre until you figure in your speed and your pressure. There's two main ways we can go about calibrating a sprayer. The first way is to go ahead and put a container directly under the nozzle and measure it for a specific set of time and figure out how many gallons per minute are coming out of that nozzle. There's a little bit easier way to do this by going through and using a spot-on spray calibrator. With a spot-on spray calibrator, you put the calibrator directly under the nozzle and wait for it to measure the amount of time it takes to fill the container from the bottom node to the top node, and then it will actually give you a reading in gallons per minute. Each nozzle is rated differently. This one is rated at 0.2 gallons per minute. The nozzle rating can be found in the nozzle manufacturer's book. Every nozzle has a separate rating. For example, a blue nozzle like this one has a rating of 0.3 gallons per minute at 40 psi. So if you're calibrating, you'll set your sprayer to 40 psi and you should be putting out 0.3 gallons per minute. If you wanted to calibrate it at 60 psi, you would set it at 60 psi. And as you can see from this chart, it will calibrate at 0.37 gallons per minute. While calibrating, you should also check to make sure that all of your nozzle's spray patterns look good. If you have a bad spray pattern, it can often offset all of the good that you did in calibrating these nozzles. This is what a normal nozzle should look like. You got a nice even spray pattern, and as you can see, you get a majority of the spray in the center of the pattern and tapers off from there. With a damaged or worn nozzle, you can very quickly see that we don't get a very good spray pattern. And this corresponds to having an uneven spray pattern in our pattern check, as you can see here. If you have any clogged or worn nozzles, make sure to take them off and try to clean them. You don't want to be using any sharp objects on those sprayer tips because they can become damaged further. What I recommend is some sort of a CO2 canister or uh, air compressor to try to blow whatever you have stuck in that nozzle out of it, or you can use a toothbrush of some sort to get that clean. Once you have all of your nozzles on your sprayers calibrated and you've checked to make sure you have a good pattern, you should be ready to go to the field. If you have any other questions about sprayer calibration, make sure to check out these resources or talk to your local Winfield United retailer.